Hello, you're probably watching this because you or a loved one suffers Parkinson's disease. And uh, I want to take a break from this video for just a moment. I want you to hear what this man had to say about the improvement with his hand, with the shaking of the hand. And when you watch that brief uh, intro to this video, I'll be right back and get into the findings, the unique exam findings that allowed him to experience that improvement that he's still experiencing. Uh, he's still experiencing for probably about six months right now. The, the shaking of the hand has not returned in this man's body. Watch this and I'll be right back. Leave, leave it open. It's basically the same thing as a sentiment, just from a different brand. Okay. Uh, but I could trim. I could. I, I would have. So, so one, we're going to start with. So the hand was never tremoring. The hand was never really tremoring. Uh, but tremoring. when you would go ahead now, but you when can I shake it like, and, and I, what got me really noticing this was if I fixed like a glass of ice and I would shake the ice down in the glass and I would start shaking like this and I couldn't stop. I couldn't stop. It would just continue to shake. Mm -hmm. And how did you stop, stop it when it, I would actually physically get a hold of my hand to stop it from shaking? Okay. And now. And and so even still, you were always testing yourself. But before we get to right now, what's the yeah. development after your second visit, after your second protocol, second treatment for me? You were you would use that kind of as an analysis of yourself. You would just shake your hand and show someone, and it would just shake until no, you had to stop no, it. it. You had to force it with the other hand to stop it. Yes. Okay. Or or you know, put it behind me or sit on it or something, but I would have to physically stop it. Physically stop it. It would just keep going on. Just it's like winding up a motor. It just, just kept moving. Just keep shaking. Uh -huh. Just keep shaking. And, and you know, it would just keep shaking just like this. And, I could never and that's how it looked. So now what we just saw. So if we could see another example, what we just noticed after your second treatment, your second protocol, you just came back to me again now in July. And what did you show me? To? And now I can shake it and I can stop it. Stop immediately. Without you have total control. Assistance. Yeah. No assistance of the other hand. Shake it and stop it. You don't have to stick it anywhere by underneath the leg. I can, get, I can just have it out there by itself and shake it and stop it. Yeah, excellent. Which is amazing. Amazing. Okay, so I'm Dr. Lonnie Herman, and I practice a unique uh, uh, form that I've created called functional neuro recovery therapy. And I help patients with Parkinson's disease who come to my clinic from across the United States and from other countries in the world. And we're seeing some incredible changes with this. Now, I've gone through postgraduate studies in functional neurology for several hundred hours and, uh, and uh, neurochemistry and neuroimmunology and developmental disorders of the brain about the whole autistic spectrum, vestibular rehabilitation program I took in functional neuro uh, uh, postgraduate studies. I also uh, took human brain dissection and uh, led by one of the world's most respected uh, brain dissectors. Uh, I found uh, uh, other studies in movement disorders and endocrinology and blood chemistry analysis and thyroid disease and, uh, and biochemistry. I've got a great mentor who's a cardiologist and a Russian scientist who brought over this biophysics research from Germany and it's, it's just brilliant. So I've got a great set of knowledge and skills and tools that I believe I can help you get well, just like you saw with this man. And I'll put up some thumbnails here to other videos that I've done on my YouTube channel about Parkinson's and other essential tremors that will help you gain some insight of the real, true, effective work that I'm doing in my clinic here, okay? So uh, with, with that said, let's get into the unique exam findings and you should try to compare this with the exam that you're getting from your doctor to see if your doctor's doing the same kind of work up on you. When I first examined him, I found which was in uh, January of 2019, I found that his, he had mercury in his cerebral spinal fluid, which is the fluid in and around the brain and spinal cord. I found that his kidneys were loaded with mercury as well as How mercury causes brain neuron degeneration. Mercury has long been known to be a potent neurotoxic substance, whether it is inhaled or consumed in the diet as a food contaminant. Over the past 15 years, medical research laboratories have established that dental amalgam tooth fillings are a major contributor to mercury body burden. In 1997, a team of research scientists demonstrated that mercury vapor inhalation by animals 
produced a molecular lesion in brain protein metabolism, which was similar to a lesion seen in 80% of Alzheimer diseased brains. Recently completed experiments by scientists at the University of Calgary's Faculty of Medicine now reveal, with direct visual evidence from brain neuron tissue cultures, how mercury ions actually alter the cell membrane structure of developing neurons. In this experiment, neurons also isolated from snail brain tissue were grown in culture for several days, after which very low concentrations of mercury were added to the culture medium for 20 minutes. Over the next 30 minutes, the neurite membrane underwent rapid degeneration, leaving behind the denuded neurofibrils seen here. Uh, silver and mercury compounds and streptococcus bacteria and numbing agents called xylocaine and septocaine and he had aluminum in his kidneys as well. I also found they had strep infection in his renal pelvis, uh, which is a part of the kidney, and that was also causing impairment of body function. His blood had streptococcus infection, and he also had Roundup weed killer spray that was in the cortex of his brain. Remedies were provided to get rid of those different chemicals from the tissues I just mentioned, from the kidneys and from the cortex of his brain, the Roundup to get out of there. I also found with him that he had mercury in the red nucleus of the brain and the red nucleus helps to control motor of the limbs. It's a part of the brainstem, upper brainstem to be specific, that helps us control motor of our limbs. He had mercury in there as well. When I saw him again in April, I found that he had more infection that we had to go after in this round, and that was, <clears throat> excuse me, that was that his kidneys uh, had uh, the uh, malaria parasitic infection, the cortex of his brain had the malarial parasitic infection, his ureters from the kidneys had mold in them, and he also had uh, other pesticide chemicals and herbicide chemicals in his kidneys as well. And he has improved even more since then. Uh, so in the next exam, where we are now from the July exam that I saw him, he said that his uh, calf pain has, is uh, more than 10% better. His strength in his legs uh, without exercise is about 10 to 20% better, still not good enough. Uh, he feels like he's got a tremor in both feet and, but his, his hand is not shaking anymore when he does that wind up with his hand. Now, I found in this round that his amygdala of his brain has the Colorado tick fever virus. I found Zika virus, chikungunya virus, scabies, and dental amalgam in the, amalga, in the uh, uh, amygdala of the brain that can also cause movement disorders. You get nervous, you can shake from nervousness. So the amygdala is the panic anxiety button of the brain. And I also found the frontal lobe of the brain that controls movements of the limbs. He had the lymphocytic choriomeningitis virus, Lyme disease, and he also had the Zika virus in there. So remedies were provided for him for that. He's going to continue to improve. I had to share these findings because that video of his testimonial without the findings doesn't really get you to grasp what it was that was done for him. Remedies got rid of those infections and chemicals from the brain and brain stem, and you can improve. You can contact my clinic for this care at 954-370-3100. Follow me on my Facebook and on my Instagram and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Contact my clinic. Insurance won't cover this but you can get well, we can help you. I look forward to helping you. Thank you for watching this video. Hope it was helpful. And if you found it beneficial, please share it with someone.